I think the direction that any human being can go is unpredictable <laughs> and uncontrollable. So I think as student athletes begin to get paid, I think it is going to unfold if it's effective or not for that transitional piece. We haven't really seen it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's to be seen. I do think that I do think that as far as the topic of athletes getting paid, I do think as long as they maintain a certain level of GPA, I think that making some additional money in order mm. to help their families, in order to get healthier food or get their vitamins and minerals or pay their tuition off is, is something that's valuable. I do think that there needs to be some sort of standard that needs to be met in order to give that money. Um, and especially with, you know, students coming out of school with so much debt these days, maybe having that additional money would allow someone to have a launch pad when they decide that their time in school is done, whether that be four to six years. I think that's the range of, of the length people go to undergrad these days. So I don't, uh, uh, but I, I do think at the same time, there is something extraordinarily valuable that comes from being in a, a place of suffering and being in a place of struggle and finding a way to work yourself up, which is which goes back to the American dream, which is very much in question these days. And I think that there is something about gritting through an experience and knowing that you can have challenges, you can have struggles, and you worked your butt off and you got to the other side. And, you, and even if you just have that piece of paper, you still know that you made it. And I think that there's something valuable in that. And if we provide money to athletes, I do think some of that's going to be, will be transfer over because that's the nature of the beast of athletics. And at the same time, I do think on the back end, there are going to be some skills that are not going to be developed because they haven't had to go out and say work for that extra money that, to pay for things mm -hmm. that they desire. Mm -hmm. It almost just seems though, they would be relying on a system to take care of them. Mm -hmm. When I think that at that point of 18 to 25, you're not an adolescent, you're not an adult, but you're learning those skills in order to work yourself up to it. So if we prolong that to 22, 23, 24, that means that we're setting someone up much later in life to not be prepared for say a job with adequate skills that they can take in or or learning how to budget or learning how to grind to get to where you want to be. So I do think there are benefits and I think those are some of the pros and cons I, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah.